How a Sea Grows, written by Helen J. Jordan, illustrated by Loretta Kupinski. Let's read and find out science. Stage 1. How a Seed Grows. A seed is a little plant. It is a plant that has not started to grow. Apple trees and daisies, carrots and corn, clover and wheat all grow from seeds. Here is a tree seed. Someday it will be a tree like this. Here is a flower seed. Someday it will be a flower like this. Some seeds grow slowly. Those are the seeds of an oak tree. An oak tree grows very, very slowly. Suppose you planted an oak tree seed. You would be a father or a mother or even a grandfather or a grandmother. And the oak tree would still be growing. Some seeds grow fast. This is a bean seed. It grows very fast. It grows so fast that it becomes a bean plant in just a few weeks. You can plant bean seeds yourself. We use pole beans. You can use pole beans, bush beans, or llama beans. You can plant the seeds in eggshells or in tin cans or old cups or little flower pots. Be sure that your containers have holes in the bottom. We used eggshells. We used a pencil to make holes in the eggshells. We filled 12 eggshells with soil like this. We made a hole in the soil with a finger like this. When you have made a hole in the soil, plant a bean seed in it. Plant one seed in each hole. Cover the seed with soil. Sprinkle the soil carefully with a little water. Number the shells. Write the number one on the first shell. Put the number two on the next shell. Keep going until all of the shells are numbered from one to twelve. Put all the eggshells in an egg carton. Put the carton in sunlight on a window sill. Some bean seeds grow faster than others, or seeds began to grow in three days. Your bean seeds may take a little longer. You won't be able to see your seeds growing yet. They start to grow under the soil where you can't see them. Water your seeds a little every day. The water soaks into the seeds. The seeds begin to grow. More water soaks into the seeds. The seeds get fatter and fatter. Wait for three days and then dig up seed number one. It may be soft. It may be fat. Maybe it will look the same as it did before. Soon, the seed will grow so fat that its skin will pop off. In two more days, dig up seed number two. Maybe it will look different now. Maybe the skin of this seed will be loose. Now a root starts to grow. The root grows from one side of the bean seed. The root pushes down into the soil, down and down. Dig up seed number three. Can you see the root? Does it look like this? If you do not see a root, wait for another day. Then dig up seed number four. After a few more days, dig up seed number five. Something else is happening. Little roots will be growing from the big root. They look like tiny white hairs. They are called root hairs. Day after day, the roots and root hairs push down into the soil. Day after day, the bean seeds are pushed up. The soil is pushed aside. Watch your seeds. Soon you will see pale shoots push through the soil.
A shoot is the beginning of a green plant. A shoot grows towards the sun. Watch your seeds. Some may have come through the ground. Some may have broken open. Maybe some of your seeds have not started to grow. How many are growing? Count them. The bean seeds grow fast. The shoots turn green. The leaves come next. Now your bean seeds are bean plants. They look like this. How many of your bean seeds are bean plants? A seed needs many things to grow. It needs soil and water and sun. If a seed has all these things, it will grow into a plant. It will grow into the same kind of plant that it came from, an apple tree or a daisy or carrots or corn. It will grow into clover or it will grow into a bean plant like the ones you planted. Find out more about seeds. Now you know that a seed needs soil, water, and sunlight to grow. Air is also important to a seed. What happens when a seed doesn't get everything it needs to grow? Or gets too much of something? To find out, you will need five plastic cups, cotton balls or tissue paper, packet of crest seeds. One, number the cups from one to five. Fill them with cotton balls or tissue paper and put some seeds on top in each one. Two, Put cup one on a window sill with plenty of sun. Sprinkle water into the cup every day for seven days. Three, put cup two on the same window sill, but do not add any water to it for seven days. Put cup number three next to cup two. Have an adult boil some water for you. When the water is cool, pour it into cup 3 until the cup is full. 5. Put cup 4 in the refrigerator and sprinkle into the cup every day for 7 days. 6. Put cup 5 in a dark box in a warm place and sprinkle water into the cup every day for 7 days. 7. Look at your seeds every day for 7 days. Hmm, what is different about the seeds in each of the cups? What are the best conditions for the seeds? What are the worst?